Uh, in this farming, we, we, as farmers, of course, in this country, we on the worldwide, we face a lot of challenges in fast farming. The first one, the first one being the lack of cheap and affordable financing options. The cost of money in this country is high. Farming is not a business that is going to give you returns immediately. It takes time. Farming needs mechanization. You need equipment to lessen your production cost and also the time to produce certain things. The cost of acquiring machinery is so high that we've been able to, we, we, we've run into challenges, issues of having to sell off sometimes our stock in order to acquire certain uh, stuff like land or uh, tools of production, land or equipment. So that's the challenge number one, finance. If we can get affordable finance, we, farmers do not want free money, but we need affordable financing. That's challenge number one. Number two, climate and the, the weather. For example, if you, you've been to the plantation, you see my plantation now. We were recently three weeks, one month ago, three weeks, I think one month ago, we were hit by a severe hailstorm that destroyed our plantation, completely destroyed our plantation. Where we had about 200 bunches per month, we were even failing to get the matoke to feed our, our workers. Completely, it was destroyed. So those are challenges, unpredictable weather. We, last season in April, uh, the last April season, we planted 50 acres of maize and were destroyed by drought. That's why we don't have silage. And the, 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 that is a, big, a bigger challenge. We also have another challenge that I would, I would touch in that also affects our feed security at the farm, is that is labor, skilled and committed labor. The young people in this country, majority of the young people, are not committed to what they are supposed to do. For example, the beta we acquired, we acquired it expensively. They did a wonderful job. But you find through the negligence of an operator, this beta was completely, uh, not I wouldn't say completely destroyed, but it was damaged and the cost of repair is going beyond what we are making as a farm. But you see, we need the, the equipment itself and we need it running for, for us to have fe feeds at the farm, for us to be able to maintain the, 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 the sales we are doing because the excess feed, let's say the excess hay, we would sell it. So the, the challenge is committed, lack of committed and skilled labor. It's a big challenge and we, we need to think as a country on how we can solve this problem. There is a bigger, another bigger challenge is the prices of milk in this region. If, if you are to sell milk here in this region, farm gate prices are low. They only tend to come up during the dry season, but when it's the flash period, the rainy season, then the prices go as low as 600, 800, 500 shillings. This is not conducive for our production and it's very, it's, it's a discouraging factor. But we are trying our level best to, to counter that through the reduction in the cost of production. How? How are we doing this? At HIMAC, we've been privileged a little bit that we, we've had the knowledge to mechanize, we've had the ability to mechanize, and we are even going an extra mile. As I speak, we've already acquired a forage harvester, a forage harvester is something that will cut, chop, and dump the chopped material on another truck for conveyance to, the, to your storage system. In other words, it helps to cut the manual labor that we'll be using at this farm, we've been, that we've been using at this farm. For example, if we grow 50 acres of maize, we will need a minimum of 20 casual laborers to cut it down and also to heap it or feed it to the machines. With the acquisition of a forage harvester, that means the 50 acres will be harvested in three days with about four people. The tractor driver, his standboy, the, the truck driver, and his standboy. 
the rest of us, um, my workforce, will remain this side only to flood, compact, and within three days we've covered and stored the, the 50 acres. Why are we doing this? We're, we're going through a painful situation to acquire these machines just because we know if we reduce our cost of production, even with the little uh, prices of milk, we'll still break even. Then when it comes to the dry season, when the prices of milk go high, then we'll also make a, a meaningful profit for this farm.